Hi, uh, I have logged into my enterprise integrator of WSR2AI. Uh, let's see how to create a schedule task in ESWSR2ESB or WSR2 Enterprise Integrator. Uh, you can go to schedule ta task uh, here. Schedule task can be used to run uh, task continuously or at intervals uh, or once when the server startups. So let me, uh, this, this is how you will be creating a task and they, you have certain properties that you can set. You can inject to a proxy or a sequence where the task will be calling the uh, proxy or the sequence. So for, uh, for an, uh, as an example, let's go ahead and create a proxy, proxy service. I'll create a custom proxy service and we'll, I will call it uh, task proxy. And I'll go ahead and click next and I'll go to uh, define a uh, in sequence. Then I have this uh, mocky tool that I can conveniently uh, create a backend. So I'll go ahead and uh, create a backend. Uh, I have copied the uh, uh, XML file that I can use. So this will be the response. I create a backend server and I'll copy this backend. So I'll create a send mediator. And I shall um, define an address send mediator. So I'll uh, put the, my backend here. Uh, before this, I will add a log mediator also so that we can be sure that the proxy call that the, our task calls this sequence ah, I don't think we need this I will mean, put the log mediator in this uh, out sequence so I click on the save so let me go ahead and go uh, create an out sequence not that you can um, send back you can use this uh, single send in the out sequence because uh, uh, you should I should either send it to uh, another endpoint or you should handle the ma message here yeah, response from the backend here so uh, we had better not use this send mediator rather I will add a log level full. I will lock the uh, incoming message. And I shall uh, drop the message. Uh, it's not, so good, not a good thing to do, but uh, you can send it to another backend or you can store the response in a DB just for demo's sake I'm doing this so I have this uh, task proxy created so I'll copy that name let me create a task I will create task 1 and I need to uh, since uh, this is the default task implementation of uh, WSO to EI we need to specify um, a message so it will be an XML message so I will create some XML content here and here inject to kit could take two values proxy or sequence so since I will I am calling a proxy I will call proxy and uh, my proxy name is this here let me explain uh, uh, this key is not used anymore 
this two key can be used only uh, for for uh, lock, uh, for local health with only with samples like this here here we have a task with the two property set to this sample uh, we can set only two property to sample size so what the reason why otherwise uh, this is a this is also a useless property uh, but this property is useful when we need to set the soap action like this here and we need to set, set the soap action when we send a soap message and uh, these uh, are the useful properties uh, this is the format uh, is the uh, format to be used when using the two property um, that is uh, application or XML that, that is not used anymore so I have created a proxy task I have said the proxy is task proxy and I have a message to pass which is not needed actually but we have to specify something uh, which it will always be a post request so I will if we set this count as minus one this will continuously call this proxy service uh, say every 10 seconds uh, so uh, let me schedule this uh, it goes to the backend I I have a certain you won't see this uh, all these logs because I have enabled certain other logs but uh, what, what, what we wanted to see was this uh, log mediator uh, message what we said in the backend that we are receiving it here so that sucks is continuously calling and uh, processing the proxy service further uh, in the schedule task you can see other fe features you can see uh, a sequence name also you can set and you can uh, if you set this count to one just one and whatever the time interval you specify this task will uh, execute only once as soon as the task is created so a uh, task one was created and this task executes only one when the task is created or when the server starts so whatever the time interval you specify here it will execute only once uh, there is a mistake in the documentation this once property is no longer working so and uh, these are the features you can set a cron here and that's all. Thank you for watching.